Yo guys, what is up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another helpful video here. And this is a little bit out of the ordinary for what I've been doing for the last couple days. I'm going to show you the best fishing spot and method in general in all of Ark. You can see my little loot pile over there. You do get some pretty good loot in this kind of tactic. And I'll show you how to build this little hut and everything. And it's just, you know, it's a great spot. It really is. Now, that's my personal opinion, but to each their own. So, what you're going to do is actually really easy. On the map, I should give you the specific coordinates of it. Let's go ahead and pull in a GPS right now, whatever. Now, just so you can see, the cords that I am currently at, on aberration, mind you, 31.3, 59.8. And the reason that this is such a good spot is a couple of reasons. I'll go ahead and... Man, you know, I, I really wish, Mr. Paris, or you just stop. So, anyways, continuing... Now, the reason this spot is so good is this entire river, you can see, is not really deep. And the Kolankwith, or whatever you want to call them, coals, they get stuck. Now, they get stuck really, really, really easily. Look at this. All kinds of fishies. Literally everywhere. And they can't move anywhere, so they're stuck here. It's also a great place to tame otters. Maybe I'll make a video about that, because it's really easy. You just kill the otter, bring it to it. Or kill the fish, bring it to it. But these fish are literally everywhere, not spawned in, none of this stuff. They spawn in here like this in big clusters because they get stuck in the pools. And then you can just swim up and down this river and find more pools like that. And you only have to go a tiny, tiny bit of a distance to find the next pool, which is right up here. And you can see it gets a little bit deeper and the coal will just gets stuck in it again. And there's three spots just like this. You get some really big coals in this river, which is nice. Now, how do you build so you don't, well, basically prevent yourself from being unable to catch these things because they won't spawn if structure is nearby? Let me show you how. I mean, in order to just take advantage of this, this is just insane. Look at that. Look at how, look how many coals are right here. That's crazy. All right. So what you do is you go right off the shore of where you want to go. Now, obviously, you should know this already, but if you build a pillar, that is the best way to prevent yourself from blocking structures. So, I usually do one like that, one there, kind of like a little T shape. Now, this way you can have as many people fishing as you want. Let's say you want to have buddies. Or especially for this chibi event, you can get the chibis from this. Now, this is the basic structure. Then you go, and I always go for the looks because, you know, I don't really care for anything else. I go ahead and put up some thatch walls because I really hate when raptors come up from behind. It's really hard for them to get up the ramp. So that's just how, oh, that's not what I wanted. Pick that guy up right there. Boop -a -doo. And like that. Now, that's the hut. That's literally it. And because there is no foundation, there's just pillar. It does not block the spawns, which is amazing. And that's all you got to do. That's the structure. There's the fishing hole. Now I'm going to go ahead and fish a couple of times. Now you do have to wait a little bit of time. What I really encourage you to do, do not leave the chair on the water. You do have to bring a chair. Because if you don't bring a chair... Well, you're going to have problems. You can't fish without a chair. So, sit in your chair. Now, how you actually fish, in order to catch a coal, you need sap, tree sap, and a rod. Now, rods are easy to make. You can make them, and they only last a couple of times, as you can see here. But, they're pretty easy to use. Put them in your hot bar. <clears throat> Put your sap in said hot bar. And then find the fish you want. You have to have the bait in the general area of that fish for about 10 seconds. And when it does, it's going to give you a menu that pops up. I'm probably gonna take a screenshot because I don't know, I, this is like a really fun part for me. I kind of enjoy this little session, if you want to call it that. And now begins the waiting game. You can get some really good loot from this actually. And now obviously that the Valentine's Day event is on, you can get yourself some really, really good uh, chippies. I'm sure you've seen the Griffin chibi, but you know, that's just the one that I want the most. Now, it takes about 10 seconds, keep that in mind, because the coal itself has to stay in that general vicinity for 10 seconds. There it is, right there. So you can see that. Press W, and you just press the cues that it tells you to press, and boom, that's how it works. Now, obviously, the higher the level and the higher the size of the fish, the better loot you get. But that was a really small one. And look at this, it's a great way to get prime fish meat. Now, let's go ahead and go a little further just like that. And you do have to click and aim and hold it where you want to aim. Otherwise, it'll kind of like drop it right in front of you. That's just a quick little tip. Now, just to show you. 
Oh, come on. I saw bigger ones back in there. Give me something larger, game. Now I just gotta play the waiting game. Come on. Da da da. Please? Something? Is there really no fish within? There's gotta be something, surely. Just give me a big fish. Now, this is how you get the chibis, if I didn't remind you of that. I've also gotten some pretty good BPs <clears throat> and a bunch of other really good stuff from fishing itself. It's also a lot of fun. I'd like to bring that up. Does not matter how long it takes you to reel it in as long as you do reel the fish in. Typically, the more letters that you have to hit, the bigger and better the fish. So sometimes it takes a long time. But I mean, look at this. Absorbent substrate. Black pearl. Polymer. Nothing bad. I mean, you get some pretty good stuff from this. And it's a fun little thing you can do solo. So if your tribe's not on, whoop, <clears throat> you can kind of do this as long as you want. Now, if you're on a solo server especially, you can crank up the loot quality and you can get some really awesome stuff from this. Now, that's to each their own, but eventually you will get what you're looking for. You just got to wait for the big ones because the benefit is as long as you're standing here, they will not spawn back in. So, you can keep fishing until you get the big one. And apparently it's going to be a little bit on this one. And they, look at, they all moved right to the middle where I used to have my thing. Come on now, game. That seems a bit excessive. I'm pretty close to one, though, so I feel like I've got to get one. Now, this is kind of like the fun part because it's kind of like real fishing, which I enjoy in real life. You kind of sit there and wait, but you have to look at the screen because if you don't hit it, it will snap it off. I suppose I can show you what that looks like. So... If you do not do anything, it'll just sit here like this and you're kind of fighting it. And I don't know, is that the, do I have the red one? Because if I have the red one, I would really like that. D, D, no, I don't have a big one. But you have until the timer expires and then it goes away. Oh, I wanted that big one. Come on. The big one's right there. Come on now. I'm going to see. I got it. There's there's bigger ones right there. I just got to show you guys one big one so you can see some of this awesome loot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. And again, this is my favorite spot in all of Ark because it's safe, number one. Number two, it's just an area that's pretty. I love Aberration as a map, so I enjoy spending time on Aberration. So any excuse really to get on Aberration is nice for me. Oh, really? Come on now, game. There it is. I don't think this is a big one, though. I'm not going to lie to you about that. I think this is a small one. Yeah, it's a small one. But just to show you what it what it's like in case you do break them off, <clears throat> I'll sit here and wait. So you have the entire time. Every letter you click will get closer to you, which is really nice. And as soon as this hits zero, that is when you run out of time. So you don't need to worry about the specific combination of buttons. I'm here to tell you that that doesn't matter. And boop, there it goes. So it'll snap off. Now, let's see if we can get a bigger one. Oop. I don't know if that was a very good toss. So, you can hit right click or secondary attack on whatever you're using. <clears throat> that was a good toss. There's a bunch of big ones right there. So, anyways, what you're waiting for basically is you are just waiting for the big one. Now, if you hit right click, it'll snap, like you will snap the line yourself, but there's no real point because I've gotten good stuff from smaller fish. It's just typically speaking, you get better stuff from bigger fish. And why I like this map so much for fishing, sorry, I kind of got like cut off while that thing was, for lack of a better of interrupting because it was too small. Um, ooh, this might be a big one. I think it is. I think I got, uh, it's not a bad size. It's not a huge one. Uh, it's, it's a 0.7. I'll take a 0.7. There. Look at that. Rare. I got a woolly rhino horn. All kinds of stuff. So I'm looking for that red one. Maybe I should just like kill everything else in the area. But because there's so many fish here, you can just do this all day, which is really nice. And I mean, there is no better source of prime meat. So if you have yourself like a fire right next to you, you can just cook up the prime meat as you go, which is quite nice. And uh, that's a really good way to get that source of really difficult to attain cooked prime meat which you know, I guess even prime fish meat can be used for baryonyx, so you knock out a baryonyx down there, come back up here, get yourself some prime meat, or even, heck, transfer off server. Because it really is a great way to get it. <clears throat> Alright, one more fish, and then I'll, then I'll let you guys go. I know, I'm sorry, this is kind of like one of those videos where you're like, ooh, cool. But, hopefully this helps you out in whatever you're trying to do. If you're doing it for the Valentine's Day event to get that chibi, I wish you the best of luck. 
unfortunately I have gotten unlucky because well I haven't caught very big fish this one's a little bigger though I'll take a 1.0 oh this is a good sized fish look at that thing look at that thing go and boop there we go snapped it off let it back into the wild uh, did it just disappear oh no we're good okay it went over there all right, and that is how you fish. I usually set up huts, guys. I don't like and Now, it is possible to just bring a chair and drop that thing down and boop, you're in the chair. However, I much, much, much prefer sitting inside one of these things because it makes me feel safer. And you can put a door on it if you really wanted to. I don't because it's not like anyone's going to come after you when you're fishing. All right, anyways, other than that, hopefully this helps you out. Find you some nice big fish and let me know how your uh, fishing adventures go. All right, Teacher's Game 2.